Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 21 in chapter 14. Chapter 14 is about oscillations. There we have two objects, A, B. Both of them do the simple harmonic motions. And their function is given x, A, and x, B. Now we need to find the next three times at which both objects are uh, passing through the origin. So how can we consider it? We can say for the simple harmonic oscillations at initial, it is at oscillation. This is T0, agree? And then it moves there and back. So now first time it reaches to the origin. Next time it goes this way and back. Origin. So it looks like at each time, the time it goes through the origin. The time just passed, a period, half a period. You can see this is a total period. But then this time, orange, this time, orange. So this two, half of the period. This two, half of the period. Agree? So that means every uh, half of the period, the object goes through the origin. Agree? So it looks like we need to find the period for A and B. Can you do that? Yeah, we can look at this function. We know this is called omega angular velocity. Omega angular velocity. From the omega, we can get the period. So there, we can see for a, omega a, just the 2 pi over t a, agree? Because this is angular velocity. It's for one circle, total angle it moved is 2 pi. The time is period t a, and it equals 2. It tells us this is 2, so we can get the period for a. And similarly, we look at the object B and the angle of velocity omega B equal 2 pi over Tp. That is, for one circle, the angle moved 2 pi and then the period, the time taken is the period Tp equal to 3. And then we do these two calculations, get Ta and Tb, right? And we just talk about for every half of the period, it goes through the origin. So, so, so Ta equals to this one. Then we times n tell us which term it is. Agree? Okay, half of the period. And then we solve it, we can get answer look like this one. And the next one is the Tp. Similarly, every half of the period, it goes through the origin, right? Half of the period. And input is the period inside. We get function look like this one. And then you just put the n equal to 1, 2, 3. You can get the first three times for A and B to go through the origin. Thank you.